Well, welcome everyone. Kenny, welcome. How are you? Thank you, teacher. I'm fine, thank you. Excellent. You? That's, I'm fine, thank you. I'm very happy to listen to you all. And tell me, Kenny, uh, how have you been? What about uh, your activities and how you see life in these days? <laughs> okay, my week, my week was very busy because uh, in my work, in my job, um, I um, I work uh, for overtime. I I I have to work second turn. Second shift. Second. I'm sorry. Second shift. Shift. Okay. Like to know. Um, yes. Yes. The second shift because um, I have in I I work in a in an industry that manufacturing manufacturers manufactures um, tuna fish. <laughs> ah, processes. Processes. Okay. Processes tuna fish. Okay. Mm, so. Mm, and in these days, tuna is very demanded. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, for the for the um, Holy Week. Um, oh my! How do you say Quaresma? It's like I don't remember what's the term that Catholic people use for saying this Quaresma. <laughs> Easter. Uh -huh. Easter. Uh, Easter, yes. But um, I don't think that is for Easter. Um, maybe it's for the qua quarantine. 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 Because it's a new. It's a food that and that it's um, it comes. How do I say? No perecedero. <laughs> No perish, perishes, perishes, not perishes. Not is it's a uh, not perishes food. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you're right. This, this the sales for this product was up. <laughs> hacia arriba. Uh -huh. Oh my! <laughs> yes, I think so. You know what? I think also that's another reason. Tuna fish mm -hmm. is a very healthy and non-greasy, non-fattening food. And nowadays, many yeah. people is very involved in being fit. So not all the people is on a diet, but many people more than before uh, are uh, taking care of what they eat. For example, me, I didn't mm -hmm. used to be very careful with my with my way of eating. That's why I am so cachetona. But <laughs> uh, nowadays, the doctor told me, hey, you should eat healthy food. And so I, I am doing so. I, I have been buying kind of like 40 cans of tuna fish per month, not only for me, but also for my whole family. But we consume a lot, a really lot of tuna fish because it is very healthy and it's very light. It's very uh, teacher, yeah. the nutritionist nutri 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 say me that you have to eat vegetables uh, three times a, a day in the breakfast, in the eat, and in the in the noche, cena. Uh, dinner. In the at the dinner, uh, you have to eat uh, two thousand and fifty grams of vegetables, mm -hmm. and then the the food normal food, and with uh, with this technique, I uh, I lost. I lost. I lost five, five kilos. Wow. Hey, and that's great. I, 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 at one month. In one month? 
Yes. Wow. Hey, that's great. I am going to do it. I like very much vegetables, you know. Um, I am a vegetable lover. But sometimes when I am working, it is not possible to, to find a lot of vegetables in the street. So I have to prepare my food for taking to school. Uh, yes, you can eat uh, crudas or cocidas. Raw or cooked. Uh, raw or cooked. Mm -hmm. And you can eat este, pepino. Cucumber. Uh, mm. Yes, pepino, jicama, zanahoria rallada, betabel, así, where you want. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're right. You know what? Any fruit that I really, really enjoy is grapefruit. Grapefruit, wow, it's delicious. I like it very much. And I, I love garnachas. <laughs> <laughs> of course, we love garnachas. They are so delicious. But maybe only on weekends because the doctor gave me a chanclazo and he told me, no, Maggie, no. Oh, come on. All right. But, uh, fruit has... Uh, has very a lot of sugar all the food uh -huh. yeah. and is restricted mm -hmm. uh, a fruit a big a big fruit is uh -huh. only one yeah. fruit, a middle fruit yeah Diana. a middle it, one it can be two fruits mm -hmm. and a, a small fruit is a, a puño a bunch a bunch uh -huh. Yeah, that's it. For example, I eat half of a grapefruit because grapefruits are big. So I have half, just half in the morning and half by night. And I like so much salad. Mm. Well, of course, if the salad is with pozole on there, wow, it's much better. But no, not a lot of pozole. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Put in the pozole you can uh, put uh, a lot of lettuce. Oh and yes. Rabanos. Radishes. And, mm. uh, a small, a small pozole. Yeah, a little of pozole. A little. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. You know what? Today we are going to talk about uh, entertaining. Paola, I'm sorry I didn't ask you how you are because I am here talking about my, my cachetes. And so... <laughs> <laughs> the delicious food. <laughs> and delicious food. Mm, that's it. <laughs> how are you, Paola? My problem, my problem teacher is a, I am an allergic person, so I can uh, eat some fruits. For example, oh, mango. No? Mango, sandia, uh, watermelon. 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 Melon. <gasps> Can't believe it. Oh, poor thing. You know what? Fruit is delicious. Yes, I know. But oh. the good thing is in Mexico, uh, there are uh, a lot variety uh, of fruit, so I have a lot possibility to eat. <laughs> hey, that's it. For example, strawberry. Can you eat strawberry? Yes. Oh, great. Uh, what about um, um, Pera. Pear. Whoa. Pear. Papaya. Papaw. Yes. Peach. Can you eat peach? Yes. Oh, that's delicious. Yes. Oh. This is well, a good option for me. <laughs> that's great. And they are so delicious and healthy. Yes. All right. Well, Thank you very much for listening to me with my complaints. Now, <laughs> <laughs> let's go with today's question. We are going to talk about entertaining. And so the question is, what is amusing for you? How do you like to spend time? What about you, Kenny? I'm sorry. Um, I like to spend my time in seeing series, <laughs> streaming series hey, that's <laughs> on <it>. Netflix, <laughs> uh -huh. like, like Elite, or like um, Sabrina, <laughs> hey, or, that's... okay, um, um, I like to go to cinema, but 
in this day they are closed. <laughs> uh <-huh>. But <laughs> and in my city there are no much cinemas. There are only Netflix. three, three, three cinemas. Three so, cinemas. Yes, my my city is a little small <laughs> yeah so small <laughs> okay so i prefer watch tv or netflix <laughs> that's it all right it's yeah an option. Mm -hmm. all right thank you very much kenny kenny who's your victim paula <laughs> thank you hi kenny <laughs> hi hi paul <laughs> Uh, in my case, it's like Kenny. I, I like to go to the movie theater and um, every week, but now it's not possible. But the other option I like to see in on TV, uh, all movies, uh, mm -hmm. the, the golden, uh, how can I say, Epoca de Oro? Golden H. H. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Excellent. Thank you very much, Paola. All right. Who's your victim? Gabby. <laughs> Gabby. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Uh, 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 it's amazing for me. In every Saturday, I am going to uh, dance. I am. Uh, learning to dance salsa, cumbia, merengue. Wow! Um, I have three hours uh, to uh, from two to five in the afternoon to go to dance. Uh, but in this mo no, what in this moment in in those days we have in uh, in quarantena uh -huh. and we have and um, the classes. Suspendieron, se suspendieron. Were suspended. Were suspended. And when I am going to work in, in my house with my annual declarations for my clients, I learn the TV and I I I am I do the same that, that Paola uh, put golden age, uh, Mexican golden age. I love the Pedro Infante movies. I love, I love. And yes. uh, yesterday was uh, in the película, uh, Dos Tipos de Cuidado. Oh, that's nice. That's a classic. Yes, very a classic movie. Yeah, you know what? Uh, talking about the golden age that I like so much about Mexico is the Joaquin Pardavés movie. Yes, me too. Wow. <laughs> very handsome man. Yeah, and he was a master. He was a great actor. Yeah. I, I really. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, that's it. They are amazing. All right. So, who's missing? I guess everybody has spoken. Now, guess what? We are going to watch a video. We are going to talk about uh, entertaining. Okay, so let's share the screen so that you can see all right here we go and hey maggie what are you doing okay here we go <laughs> So I decided to follow in the footsteps of the great American philosopher, Morgan Spurlock, and try something new. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. A few years ago, I felt like I was stuck in a rut. So I decided to follow in the footsteps of the great American philosopher, Morgan Spurlock, and try something new for 30 days. The idea is actually pretty simple. Think about something you've always wanted to add to your life and try it for the next 30 days. 
It turns out 30 days is just about the right amount of time to add a new habit or subtract a habit, like watching the news, from your life. There's a few things that I learned while doing these 30-day challenges. The first was, instead of the months flying by forgotten, the time was much more memorable. This was part of a challenge I did to take a picture every day for a month, and I remember exactly where I was and what I was doing that day. I also noticed that as I started to do more and harder 30-day challenges, my self-confidence grew. I went from desk-dwelling computer nerd to the kind of guy who bikes to work for fun. Even last year, I ended up hiking up Mount Kilimanjaro, the highest mountain in Africa. I would never have been that adventurous before I started my 30-day challenges. I also figured out that if you really want something badly enough, you can do anything for 30 days. Have you ever wanted to write a novel? Every November, tens of thousands of people try to write their own 50,000 word novel from scratch in 30 days. It turns out, all you have to do is write 1,667 words a day for a month. So I did. By the way, the secret is not to go to sleep until you've written your words for the day. You might be sleep deprived, but you'll finish your novel. Now, is my book the next great American novel? No, I wrote it in a month. It's awful. But for the rest of my life, if I meet John Hodgman at a TED party, I don't have to say, I'm a computer scientist. No, no, if I want to, I can say, I'm a novelist. <laughs> so here's one last thing I'd like to mention. I learned that when I made small, sustainable changes, things I could keep doing, they were more likely to stick. There's nothing wrong with big, crazy challenges. In fact, they're a ton of fun, but they're less likely to stick. When I gave up sugar for 30 days, day 31 looked like this. <laughs> so here's my question to you. What are you waiting for? I guarantee you the next 30 days are going to pass whether you like it or not. So why not think about something you have always wanted to try and give it a shot for the next 30 days. Thanks. Okay, excellent. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right, so what could you understand about the video? What about you, Paola? What did you understand? Okay, it's necessary to try it all the time because you have a new challenge and chance to change your routine and maybe you discover another ability uh, about you because maybe you have a uh, you made the same things and you can see the new abilities uh, about about you uh, and the other uh, he said that uh, she he tries tried uh, the bike but he, uh, he considered that is uh, that was not possible to this kind of activity so uh, it's a, a good message about the, the challenge, the, the life. That's it. Yeah, you're right. Thank you very much. Okay, Kenny, what do you think about this? Um, I can't remember. <laughs> my, 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 my internet connection it was unstable. <laughs> Unsteady. Unsteady. So I I can't listen too much the video. So oh. I I tried I'm I'm trying. I was trying to read the subtitle uh, subtitle. Uh -huh, the caption. But it it was borroso. <laughs> Uh, it was dim. 
Dean. So I'm sorry, teacher. <laughs> no, it's okay, uh, Kenny. Don't worry. You know what? What what they were talking about is that you have to try new things in your life and to establish challenges for yourself. Uh, try to do everything that you would like to do. Try to do it because it will represent not only um, beautiful experience and entertaining, but also you are going to discover uh, your your inner talents and things that you are able to do and you didn't know about that. So have you ever okay. tried something new, something challenging? Yeah, um, one, month ago, one month ago, I'm trying to do more exercise. <laughs> uh, so um, I'm, I subscribe, no. Inscribir. <laughs> inscribir. I, I register it. I, I register it in a Reg Register it. <laughs> or register I, it. Is, easier is I joined. Okay, I joined. I joined in a gym. So um, I I get in shape. <laughs> I lose lose weight. <laughs> so but but in these days jeans are close <laughs> I are close so my routine uh, is very difficult for me doing in my, doing it in my home mm -hmm. because in, in my job the productions is racing uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. so um, my routine is 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 going to be um, lose. <laughs> lost. Uh -huh. oh. Lost. Uh mm huh. Lost. Okay. So thank you very much, Kenny. All right, Raquel. How are you? Welcome, Raquel. Hello. Hello, my um my microphone was closed <laughs> sorry hi hello it's okay don't worry raquel could you remind me your last name please perez uh -huh. it's raquel perez perez your second last name please Mo montaño montaño uh -huh. excellent you know what i needed it because uh, we have to register your attendance so uh, okay that's why we need to write it down and later on pass it to the drive in the list perfect thank okay. you so much no thanks to you raquel we are talking about challenging things that you have done or that you would like to try have you tried any challenging activity something that you really love doing like a challenge um kind of like that sometimes it's not a challenge but sometimes it's to try to do something different for example join to a gym um uh, join to a to some dance classes try to cook something oh, gotcha, gotcha. yes um actually i think we all do it all the time, right? Uh, when we do something new, um, like, um, I don't know, I'm thinking about it. Yeah, like um, like cooking classes, I, I did it. I, what more else? Uh, one month ago, I, ask for um a new job so for me that's that was new um and i think that's it <laughs> excellent all right thank you very much um mm -hmm. next gabby yes teacher okay something that you have done 
talent I, that I have done. Uh, something different. Uh, so, um, uh, yeah, uh, I am, I am uh, creating with a, a partner of, of high school when we find us by a WhatsApp group and, I, and we are going to creating a platform uh, for uh, uh, describe our performance of everyone for uh, in between us a uh, contract our service we are uh, uh, the, the major of, of participants we are is professionals but uh, uh, there are other that they are in professionals but uh, they have a officio mm -hmm, an occupation and Yes, and, uh, and we, we together are uh, creating a plan for, for uh, take contact with, uh, between us and contract our service of everyone. Wow, hey, that's nice. That's very beautiful and very interesting because you are not only uh, having contact with people you know, with some acquaintances, but also creating job opportunities that in this time of crisis is tremendously necessary. Very right, congratulations to you, claps for you. Thank okay. you, thank you. All right, thank you. You know what? I have been a very unquiet person. I, I have been doing all of the things, all of the stuff, the stuff that I liked to be. Uh, uh, when I, when I wanted to have a family, I became a mom, I became a wife, I became a housewife. Later on, I studied the university, I became a divorced woman. Um, I became also a pedagogist. Later on, I was a folk dancer, I was a singer. I have been also a bike rider. I have been a swimmer. I was a musician, I was a cook, and I like to, I, I, I used to prepare my, my own delicious tamales. Uh, I sold tamales time ago. I had a school, I had a language as a school, I was the director. Uh, what else? I was a student in, the, in, an, in a university in the United States. I was just to be married with an Arabic person. And wow, I think that my life has been kind of like a kite, but a so uh, amusing kite. Uh, I was a singer, yes, I have already uh, uh, told you. And I think that everything that you want to do, do it. Because somebody told me, Maggie, you only live once. Yes. I have to be responsible of all the duties I have, of all the things I, I must um, accomplish with. But yes, we only live once. And we, if we don't do the things that we would like to do, maybe there is not going to be time. So that's why I did it. So look at this here. We have some uh, vocabulary, some uh, pieces of vocabulary so that we can uh, talk about uh, things. Gabby, I'm going to uh, turn the microphone on, off, because I don't know, we can hear a very big noise. Raquel, yes, thank you, please. Today, uh, yeah, today I had a meeting, a uh, work meeting. And someone said that we only die once, but we live every day. It's a different way to see the same thing that you said, you just said, um, but in a different way, right? So I know we, we only uh, live lives one, once, sorry, but actually, we die once and we live every day, right? It's the same thing, but 
in a different way. What do you think? Yeah, you're right. It's the same thing, but with a different perspective. And so that's beautiful. That's so nice. Because as we live every day, we can do many things. We can grow up. Exactly. Excellent. Yeah. Congratulations to you. That is so positive. Thank you. Oh, thanks to you. All right. You know what? Mm, I think that we can do many things for entertainment. But have you ever tried uh, playing as a kid? Sometimes we are so serious and sometimes we feel that playing is for children. We are adults. And I don't think so. I think that we should play a little more frequently. So who of you would like to play? What would you like to play? Nobody? Come on. Don't be serious. Don't be Me, so serious. Paola. Oh, Paola, what would you like to play? Okay, I had uh, the opportunity to, to play with my nephews and the different games, for example, Loteria. But my nephews uh, are adolescents. Teenagers. Teenagers. Thank you. <laughs> So it's it's nice because it's another uh, moment about uh, their their lives. So it's it's funny because you it's different, but it's funny. Uh, like Uno, the cards. Mm. It's it's interesting for me because uh, they uh, are. Uh, a different view about the life so I like I like it, so much yeah you know what it is not only interesting but also necessary those kind of board games provide uh, teenagers kids and people to learn how to play in teams how to work in teams how to take yes. agreements how to so, uh, solve the conflict because conflict is something that exists all of the time and if we know how to manage conflict then we can do great things to get advantage of conflict and so those kind of games yes. offers lots of conflict time and and you can train children and train yourself how to solve and how to get fun how to be okay working with a lot of people. And nowadays, children are not very used to it because they are growing as individuals. They are with a cell phone or with a tablet, with any video game, individually. And so it is tremendously a bath for children. So to play board games. And the other teacher? Yeah. And the other teacher, so sorry. And the other thing, I am a girl, and my nephews, a man, and said, uh, I "How mean. can I?" Yes. Yeah. It's so. Funny. Yeah. Too much. You know what? I liked very much to play Uno, but not in the in that way. I like to play Manotazo. Wow! Uh -huh. <laughs> so nice. <laughs> So fun. Yes. Uh, the other, uh, they have uh, another, another options about the uno. Aha. Uh -huh. Manotazo and the other, I, I don't remember the name. And when I play, I say, yeah, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> um, I learned how to play with, with the uno cards. I learned how to play Marrana. Yeah, and so they are playing, and whenever you lose a turn, they are going to paint in your face with a piece of lipstick the words for yes. Marrano. So first of all, you gain an M. Yes. Later on, ah! a M. So that's it. Still the moment you have in your face here the word Marrano. This is nice. Eh? Yeah, I want to nice. try <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, that's good. That's good. All right. Thank you very much, Paola. Okay. Uh, Paola, who's your victim? Um, Gabby. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Uh, uh, we are talking about a uh, game. Is true? Yeah. Okay. In nowadays, I am uh, playing a few times with my nephews to uh, like Paola, but uh, I teach to my nephews to play uh, Chinese nephews. Oh, how, uh, yeah, Chinese sticks. Chinese sticks and cheese and other games uh, that is not table games is a uh, cuerda uh -huh. to bring the cuerda yeah to um and is the play to the avioncito on the floor wow the plane that's a classic and it was so beautiful and uh, my nephew said me uh, that games are very ridiculous because uh, they uh, in a um, uh, Xbox on the ta in the tablet uh, uh, they can get uh, play cheese for example very easy very easy and uh, we uh, did a a pacto convenio a pact uh, don't oh and don't okay don't uh, turn turn on the electric domain electric things with like the tablet and xbox and play as a uh, when i was a, ch uh, a child wow but for uh, they begin to to know uh, the play the games uh, to uh, 20 or more uh, uh, years ago. Uh -huh. Hey, that's beautiful. You know what? I remember that those games provided the opportunity for children to develop their skills and to be in a very good health condition because children uh, would run they would uh, look for, uh, they, they were seeking, and they were having real fun. So children were healthier in the past because they did lots of physical activity to be, uh, and you know what? Those kind of games are very good also for children to be better writing, to have a very good hand writing because they learn how to manage their body, how to move their hands. So that's so, so good. Nowadays, children are not very good at handwriting because the only one exercise they do is to move their, their thumbs. Yes, for example, and in Nexus, Xbox, uh, all the China, uh, Playing with the the ¿cómo? el dedito este the, the finger tops tops and the other the fingers for example they don't use yeah they don't move them okay. yes all right Gabby thank you very much who's your victim uh, Kenny thank you. Hi, teacher. Mm. Hi. L last year, um, I, I, uh, I, I tried to play the plane with my nephews. Wow. Yeah. But they don't know how to play it, so they no, they don't know the they don't knew the rules. They didn't know. They didn't know the news, the rules. Sorry. So I, I try to te teach 
teach them. Yeah. Uh -huh. But they don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> but in these days, they teach me <laughs> how they to play. I'm oh, sorry. They told, told, told me how to play um, Minecraft, um, for example, other other video playing video video game video game is um I said, I, I don't know it's like video game about war uh, free fire <laughs> yeah oh <my>. free fire <laughs> right. I I don't I I don't understand them <laughs> so I I I can't play the video games I don't know what play play them <laughs> Jesus Christ. You know what? It is good because you were in their place and they were in your place. So there can be empathy. So it is very good. Yeah. Because now, it is not all of the time to be impositive, to say, no, you are going to do the things I want. No, of course, it's to negotiate and to say, all right, now, we are going to, I am going to suggest the activities. Next time, you are going to suggest them. And so we are going to have the taking turns, once you and once me. No, and so it's nice because there can be negotiation. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right, thanks to you, excellent. Kenny, your victim. Raquel. Thank you. Thank you, Kenny. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> well, something like like um, Kenny said happened to me with my kids. Uh, my oldest, he is 18 years old. So, well, almost 18. Uh, so he, he loves to play... Um, Xbox and my middle one he's six almost almost 16 years old so they both like to, to play uh, Xbox uh, actually I have another um, kid my youngest youngest he's uh, eight years old and three of them they love to play uh, video games and it's uh, a little bit hard to play uh, another kind of games but the other night we played a uh, table game. Board mm. game. Mm, what, what was the name? Let me remember. Oh, thank you. Board game. Yes. Mm, and was Monopoly. Wow. And uh, to me, it was a. Uh, yeah, I know, but I, I, I don't like that game because to me, it's like, uh, make me feel anxious. <laughs> uh, because you know it's about getting poor and <laughs> and getting rich, so I don't know. But they love it. They love it. They love that game. Yeah, but, that's it. Uh, as every I know, as everybody said, um, the the age it's um, it's a. Uh, uh, I, I don't know how to say it. It's it's hard to 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 get empathy with them <coughs> because uh, the difference between us is too much. So they get bored with my games, and I I don't understand theirs. Actually, I when I try to play Xbox, it's so hard to me because you know my fingers do, uh, doesn't respond to my to my thoughts. So. <laughs> It's so hard, you know? Yeah, we don't have the training for moving their or thumbs at the speed they do. I see, for example, my, my, my children. Well, they are not little children. They are young adults, uh, 27, 20, mm -hmm. and 21 years old. But they are typing in their cell phones like, like this, and I say, wow. How do you do that? I can't do it. But anyway, you know what? It is the, 
this is really wonderful the point when you coincide to do something you know for example yes they have their own yes. day we are the ones that we like but when you can be together in one activity wow that's wonderful something that i and my family like. yes at least at least we tried right aha uh -huh, that's it sorry at least we tried yeah mm -hmm. yeah that's right because whenever you try it is because you have a volunteer to be together and that is the most valuable when you want to do something together yes that's true uh -huh. the other way around the opposite is when you suggest something and everybody said oh no thank you i have lots of things to do i have to go with my friends uh, that's depressing that's that makes you be down but yes when when you have the uh, i know but but with this sorry no, it's okay. with this virus uh they can go anywhere <laughs> they can go anywhere <laughs> they have to be with me so yeah. you know <laughs> you know what in my family it happened something nice my father uh, he was he used to be a musician when he was uh, alive uh, later on i learned how to play uh, how to play some instruments and how to sing and uh, my children uh, like so much it also my youngest son is a musician also so we like very much to play and to sing and sometimes when we have time for example now we used to play the guitar we used to sing the karaoke and wow we have lots of fun i i designed a karaoke game First of all, I decided uh, some pieces of music, some very funny songs, for example, the Barney song, uh, the Pasito Perron, and some very funny, very funny songs that seriously you wouldn't sing. And so I put the names in little papers, I made little balls, and so it's a sort when it's your turn to sing you have to take a paper and see what's the song that it's your turn to sing and you have to look for the karaoke on youtube play it and sing the song later on the other people who are next to you have some palettes with the qualification so whenever you finish singing they show the the scores and it's so nice because of course the scores are not serious um, some of the palettes that you are going to show say uh, i'd better be home i am sleepy uh, i love you i want to marry you <laughs> some some phrases like those and it's so delicious it's so nice I like it very much and my, my children like it also. Whenever we are playing karaoke, uh, some people used to, to ask to be invited. They say, invite me to play. Oh yes, of course, join us. And so it's a nice. Uh, some other things that we like so much is to model with plastiline because as my grand, no, my son-in-law, as my son-in-law is an artist, he's a, a painter and a sculptor, uh, he taught us how to model plastiline and clay. And so we used to, to do some figures with, with clay or with plastiline. And it's so nice, it's so funny. Uh, what else? Uh, we, we cook together. Uh, we like so much to cook together, so we um used to decide all together what we are going to eat and then i prepare soup my daughter prepares the main dish my son-in-law prepares water my youngest son prepares a uh, dessert and my granddaughter prepares salad and so everybody apport their part of the food and that's nice that's nice because it's kind of like a competition 
and we want uh, the, our dish to be the best. And we call it like a cooking, like a, a cooking contest. And so that's nice. That's so nice. Uh, all right, so what else? Any other ideas? What do you think that we could do in this quarantine? Hello. <laughs> yes. All right. And the other teacher, I think oh, that thank is you. your Yamada. <laughs> what? And the other, I think that the video Yamada. Ah, that's it. The video. I think oh. it's a good option. Mm -hmm. And the WhatsApp. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Today morning we were playing. Uh, I was laying down on bed because I didn't want to to get up, and so I had my cell phone and I was chatting with my daughter. My daughter yeah. was in her bedroom, <laughs> and yeah. we. Said, oh my! What a what a what a needle people am am I? I. I am not standing up and talking to my daughter. We are chatting by WhatsApp and sending uh, some stickers. <laughs> That's nice. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> my nephew sent me memes. Oh, that's uh, nice. This, that is another kind of communication. Ah, uh, you know what? My son-in-law had an application for doing memes. And Yay! so it's nice. He found it oh. in Play Store, I guess. And yeah. that's, that's also nice. Yes, it's another option. <laughs> ah, that's it. <laughs> I saw a post. It was a video that a family created. They were doing like a, a, um, a role play. Yeah, they were role playing one scene of Shrek and they wore costumes. They had the video and they upload the video to YouTube. <laughs> it, was so, it was so nice because the woman, the mother, painted her uh -huh. face like the cat. The father was Shrek. And they yeah. had a, a burro de planchar with a with uh, an iron and it was the donkey <laughs> it was so <laughs> that was so nice, nice. yeah uh, <laughs> so yeah there are many options many things that we can do in this quarantine not only taking advantage of our activities uh, well that's an option also no to catch up uh -huh. with <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. But guess what? Remember that it's the evaluation of the course. So if you don't catch up with the activities, maybe you you are going to fail. No, don't do it. Please do your platform activities. <laughs> well, in this quarantine, it can be an option also, I think. <laughs> All right, and so, well, thank you very much for, for being today. I think that this has been a very nice session because you have aported very, very fashionable ideas about what to do in this quarantine. I don't know if you want to ask any question or say any commentary. Not no, not okay. sure. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much and have a very good night. Don't forget to wash your hands. Wash your hands, please. Remember that it's a protocol how to wash your hands. And don't go out if it is not necessary. All right. Thank you very much. Have a very good night. Thank you. Likewise, teacher. Thank you. Good night. Sure. Bye -bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. -bye. Good night. Bye, -bye.